Word provides many options that can affect the appearance of text on the printed page. In this video, I focus on settings that affect the distance between body text and footer text. I was talking with someone the other day about a document, and she wanted to decrease the space that appears between the last line of text on a page and the text that appears in her page's footer. You can see that down near the bottom of this document right here, that she wanted this area to be decreased. And she was looking for a bit of direction on how to control this. The important thing to realize is that there are actually two, and possibly six, settings at play when Word lays out your text near the bottom of a page. The first setting is your actual page margin setting. This setting determines the margins for the main body of text on each page of your document. Start by going ahead and displaying the layout tab of the room right up here, and then clicking the small icon at the bottom right of the page setup group. That displays the page setup dialog box, and you want to make sure that the uh, margins tab is displayed just like it did here by default. Note the settings in the margins area, particularly the bottom setting. This is where you set your bottom margin for the page. You can see that the bottom margin for this document is set to be one inch. This means that Word makes sure that nothing in the body of the text extends into the one inch of space at the bottom of the printed page. Now go ahead and display the layout tab of the same dialog box. And the setting that you want to pay attention to here is the footer setting. Note that this setting specifies how far the footer should appear from the bottom edge of your printed page. Thus, the setting of half an inch, as you see on the screen here, means that the footer will appear a half inch from the bottom of the page. This setting actually represents where the baseline of the bottom line of the footer will appear. The baseline is the imaginary line on which letters sit. Some letters include descenders, like the lowercase j or p, which means those letters descend below the baseline. But this setting controls where the baseline of the bottom line of that footer will appear in relation to the bottom edge of the paper. For the most part, it is these two settings, bottom on the margins tab and footer on the layout tab, that together define the distance between the body text and the footer text. You can reduce the distance between the text and the footer by decreasing the bottom setting and or increasing the footer setting. But there's a potential gotcha here. You'll want to make sure that you don't overlap the bottom and footer settings. In other words, you should make sure that the footer setting is never greater than the bottom setting. For instance, you wouldn't want to specify a bottom setting of 0.75 inches and a footer setting of 0.8 inches. If you do something like this, then Word gives the footer setting precedence and moves the bottom text margin so that the footer and body text don't print on top of each other. I mentioned earlier that there are potentially three other settings which can affect the space between body text and footer text. There are actually four settings that you can use that affect what happens to paragraphs at the bottom of a page. You can see these settings if you go ahead and display the home tab of the ribbon. I've got to get out of this first. I'm going to display the home tab of the ribbon. And we're going to click right within this paragraph right down here. I'm going to go in now and click the small icon at the bottom of the right of the paragraph group. And when I do, we see the paragraph dialog box. You want to go ahead and display the line and page breaks tab right here. At the top of this tab of the dialog box, there are four settings that control how Word paginates the paragraph. These settings affect the behavior of the text at the bottom of the page. First on the list is the widow slash orphan control. If a single line would appear at the top of the following page, an extra line is moved from the bottom of the page so that at least two lines appear at the top of the next page. If this movement means that a single line is left at the bottom of the page, then the entire three-line paragraph is moved to the top of the next page. The second setting here is keep with next. 
The par this means that the paragraph must appear with the paragraph that follows it, so it is moved to the next page. The third setting here is keep lines together. When this is selected, then all lines in the paragraph must appear on the same page. So if at least one line would normally flow to the next page, then the entire paragraph is moved to the next page. The final setting here is page break before. When you select this, that means that the paragraph is moved to the next page automatically. Any of these four settings coming into play would obviously affect the distance between what is at the bottom of the page and any footer on the page itself. So there you have it. The major settings and the minor settings that can control how much space is left between the text at the bottom of the page and the footer that appears at the bottom of the page. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please click the subscribe button and then click the bell icon. That way you'll be informed whenever I add a new video to the Word Tips channel. If all of this page layout stuff seems a, a little bit like hocus pocus to you, I've got another video that I'll direct you to that talks about layout of the page and how you can lay out the page within Word so that it looks as good as it can. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.